What's up Bafflers, James out of here. Today we're going to be setting up OBS Studio for full compatibility in Premiere Pro. A big thanks to everyone who suggested this video. Without you, this video probably wouldn't have happened. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, it's worth noting, if you want a full video on how to set up OBS, then check the link in the description, which will have the video that's on my second channel. Let's go ahead and click settings right here. Go over to output. Okay, so under the recording tab, change the type to standard now i just leave this unticked generate file name without space however if you're encountering any problems then you might want to try that out okay so recording format now i use premiere pro and only certain recording formats work with it so i just select mp4 because mp4 works best for me the only problem with mp4 is it, it will give you a bit of a warning down here saying that if you get like a blue screen of death or a power loss then your footage will not be recoverable however if you select FLV it won't work in Premiere Pro so make sure you do select MP4 next up is the encoder now you have several different options on here depending on what graphics card you have you may have an Nvidia or an AMD option okay so I'll start off with the x264 option and then afterwards I'll show you the settings for Nvidia so for the rate control you can just leave this on CBR and then change the bit rate to 5000 kilobits per second this will give you a much crisper cleaner video quality if you're running low on space or you're planning to record a really long video what you can do you can adjust this to something like 3500 kilobits per second it won't look quite as nice as 5000 kilobits but it will save a lot more space next up i'm going to leave use custom buffer size unticked keyframe interval on naught cpu usage i'll keep this on very fast it works very well for me then profile I'm going to select high so this will give you the highest quality recording which is what we want and then for tune just leave this on none finally the x264 options just leave this empty don't type anything in there and we should be ready to go so once you finish changing your settings go ahead and press apply and then press ok and there we go so if you have an nvidia graphics card you can go ahead and select the nvidia nvenc h264 new encoder now just leave rescale output unselected and this empty okay so on rate control go ahead and select cbr for constant bit rate and then change the bit rate from 2500 kilobits per second to 5000 kilobits per second this will give you a lot more higher quality footage if you want to save disk space go ahead and select 3500 keyframe interval keep that on zero so for the preset what i'm going to do is change quality to max quality because we like max quality <laughs> profile high keep that on high disable look ahead so if you're recording really fast action packed games then you might want to leave this enabled the psycho visual tuning it will help uh, the video cope with the motion however there is a downside it does a uh, use your gpu so if you're using a game that uses very high amounts of your graphics card then you might want to disable that finally for gpu leave that on naught then max b frames select two and then go ahead and press apply and then okay so let's see if this works in Premiere Pro okay so I've got the two types of test footage right here this is the video that I'm recording at the moment so that's why it looks like that but these are the two bits of test footage so we're going to go ahead go into Premiere Pro so what we're doing is just dragging and drop in this straight into Premiere Pro and you notice there's no crashes no holdups or anything I know these are only little bits of footage say if it does crash when you do insert your footage uh, go for a bit more of a sensible option and go to import then select your video from the import window instead of dragging and dropping sometimes that might mess things up a bit let's play the two pieces of footage this is the test settings for x264 uh, setting in OBS so let's see if this works in Premiere Pro is start a bit of test footage this is going to be very interesting test footage <laughs> to test out the nvidia settings so hopefully you didn't notice any difference in quality i know this is only a little preview window but you get the whole idea it looks exactly the same and uh, it looks really nice as mentioned if you want to watch the full obs setup video i've put the link in the description it's on my second channel called baffle 2 so if you like this video don't forget to smash that like button and if you want to do more of this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing if you have any questions let me know down below don't forget to follow me at baffle channel I'm on facebook twitter instagram snapchat and TikTok. For all the latest, head over to baffle.cc. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.